Hi, I'm Ranluca and if you want to find out how to get more feedback from your customers, please keep watching this video. Today I will take you through how to create a survey with Dynamics 365 using the Click Dimensions marketing add-on. Open the Click Dimensions app and select web content from the menu. environment is upgraded to version 9, unified interface, so yours might look a bit different. This is how you get to it in the older versions. Back in my web content tab, I will click new, give it a name, Select the type survey and I will select my editor type to forms designer. I will create a new visitor as a lead and my survey is part of the marketing category. One more required field that I need to fill up here is the domain. I can add a survey to a marketing campaign if I wish to do so. Once I save the record, I open the designer to start creating the survey's content. To be able to do this, I should already have my survey questions ready. I will quickly show you how to create a question. Scroll down and click on survey questions. Or if you are in an older version, click on the click dimensions tab and go to survey questions. Click new. Give it a name. I tend to name my questions similar to my survey, so they're easier to find when I look for them. type my question next. I will make it a type radio and I'm gonna write down the options and save it. To learn more about how to create survey questions, please follow the link in this video's description. Back in my survey designer, I will press Ctrl R to refresh my page and now I can see I have all my questions plus the new one I've just added. Drag and drop the first question to the survey. This question will appear on the first page. Add a second page for your next question. You can also have all your questions on the same page, but that will not work if you're adding some logic to the survey, which we will do in a few moments. To add a new page, expand the filter tab on the right hand side. As you can see, there are several elements that you can add to your survey. You can add a section title, a capture element, a line, a page break, an HTML element that you can use to add, for example, an image or a link, an email field, 
or a Google Capture element. I will drag and drop the page break to add a new page. I'll go back to my questions to add my second question. I will repeat the same steps for the rest of the questions. Now to add some logic. If the visitor answers that they are a user on the first question, I want to skip question 2 and go straight to the third one. I will double click on the first question. Go to the skip logic tab and I will select if the visitor is a user skip to page 3. Next I will add my Google Captcha to make sure the visitor is not a robot. save my work. Another important feature of the survey is the confirmation text, which will tell the visitor that the survey has been submitted. Preview to see your survey. This is a preview, you will not see your confirmation text. Get your survey out there by embedding it in a link, iframe or widget. To style the survey and make it look pretty, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next Click Dimensions tutorial. To view and complete this survey, please follow the link in the video's description. Thank you very much for watching, I'm Ranluca and I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a nice day everyone!